In this video, we're going to test a few food samples for the presence of fat. We have five samples here. I'll list them out. We have a desi ghee sweet, matri, some refined oil, cooking oil, fried onions, and water. What we're going to do is I'm going to press down on, let's begin with the desi ghee sweet. I'll press down on this piece of paper. And you'll notice that that will leave a stain on the paper, right? And that stain will show the presence of fat. If there is a stain, that means the fat is present. And if there's no stain, fat is not present, right? Okay, so I'll do the same thing with the matri, press it down on the piece of paper to see what happens, right? Okay, let's now take some of the cooking oil, the refined oil, and with a dropper, I'll drop one or two drops onto the piece of paper. What I'll do is I'll spread this refined oil using my finger on the paper so that it's not just concentrated on one place and then I'll let it dry. Again, it's very obvious that there is a stain and that stain shows the presence of fat. Now let's pick up some fried onions. These are fried in cooking oil so it's kind of obvious that we are going to get a stain but let me just show it to you. I'll take a tissue as well and dab it down so that it kind of spreads well on the paper. Great. Now let's pick up the water and we'll put some water onto the paper. Again, all the water is collected in one place, so I'm just using my pinky to kind of spread it out. And then let's see what happens. Okay, all the samples are on the piece of paper. I'll just show under the matri what is there, right? We have some progress. The oil is spread a little bit. Again, even in the case of the sweet, oil is spread. Uh, in the fried onions, it's very obvious that the oil has kind of spread, so I'll just remove that. I'll slowly remove the other samples as well, okay? And now we still have the water on the piece of paper, and it's still wet, right? So I'll just let it dry. I fast-forwarded this part of the video a lot. It took uh, over an hour to dry. And once the water dries, this is what it looks like. All the cases apart from water have some stain. In the case of water, there's no stain, right? And you'll notice that uh, when you hold this piece of paper against a light, these uh, stains kind of become translucent, right? They're not transparent, but they become translucent. But in the case of water, there is no stain, there is no translucent patch. Now, which of these have fat presence? Want to guess? Yes, of course, the ones which have a stain, which have that translucent patch, have fat presence, right? Whereas the case of water, there is no stain, so there is no fat presence. Thanks for watching.